You can turn it off, um, but uh, you can you can try and outsmart it. I think you can try and um, uh, mold it to your own devices. I think it's going to take over. So why why bother? Just embrace. I think so. I mean, yeah, yeah. I heard somewhere that it was part of a future artificial superintelligence, so you may as well just sit back and let it happen. Do you think search histories tell, tell you a lot about a person? I hope not. Uh, maybe a certain part of a person, not the whole, I'd like to think. Yes, I think my search history would show how boring my day is. <laughs> BBC website, BBC Sport website, email, BBC website, BBC Sport website, email. And again, and again, and again. <laughs> And with about, and talk about turning off the internet, you can beat the internet if you turn it off. Mm. Um, how often do you take that advice? I um, yesterday had to avoid going online for 12 hours until I'd watched uh, the Bake Off final on catch up. And it was pretty, pretty relaxing, I have to say. I sat in my hotel room, uh, Birmingham Central Travel Lodge, and watched a building site for five hours. I mean, do you often turn off the internet, so now? Uh, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> What's your favourite bit? Um, my favourite bit of the internet? Mm. The router. The router. The router. Mm. No one ever goes to the router. Mm. Gee, yeah. Very important. If you were uh, emperor or em uh, emperor of the internet for a day, mm. what would you do? I would um, put uh, Queen live at Wembley in 86 in HD on the front page and you have to watch the entire thing before being able to navigate past it. Um, I just the same answer for him. Yes. 